this outline here is all odontoma right here. Oh wow. And this is on the lateral side, and then this right here is inside the mouth. So you've got cheek tooth, cheek tooth, cheek tooth, and then superimposed over that, you have this lower incisor here. It's the broken off tip of the gum line. Goes all the way back to here, it comes out into the mouth, and then it comes out over here. Okay. So, in order for me to remove this whole disaster, um, I have to whip her. I've got a tuber. I've got to go work inside the mouth because this is the, um, right here is the end of the incisor. So this comes all the way back to here. Mm -hmm. And if you look right here, where the tooth comes down and then it hooks out to the out, it is coming through the jawbone on the outside right here. I have to make an incision right no. here. <laughs> and I've got to dissect yeah, down to that bone and take the lateral side of the jawbone off so I don't break her jaw when I go to get it out. It's a pretty involved extraction, but- How different is that from Harley? Um, like is it any similarity as far as the procedure? As far as the lower goes, yeah. Harley's wasn't breaking into the inside of the mouth. So if you can imagine the jawbone is like my thigh and the femur is the tooth, okay? okay? So normally I have a solid medial side and I can come on the lateral side and just pick all this bone off and pull the bone at the tooth. My, you know, if I open the side of my thigh, I could peel my femur out and still leave this side of the bone intact. Right. But on her, that's all eaten up. So. so I don't know what we're gonna end up with left over, but even if she has no jaw on that side, I've got 20 squirrels out there that only have one side of their jaw. Okay. She'll do fine, but my goal would be to keep that intact. I don't want to have, you know, a broken jaw if I don't have to have one. I just have to be very, very careful about extracting the tooth. I trust you. Well, hopefully I'm her being bigger than a gray might give you a little bit of wiggle room. Yeah, I just, it's, it's pretty involved, but. Are you thinking of doing that? today no okay i need to strategize this and i've got to have her has she been on antibiotics she's been on cloud monk since day since this happened so it's about at least 10 days yeah i mean she can actually holy shit. yeah yeah because brad look this is all tooth let me go back and relay this keep her out nicole mm -hmm. I don't. Oh yeah, that's tooth. Look at there's uh, an open I'm thing I'm here. Sure. Yeah. This is tooth. And that's where it's growing outside the jaw. You can feel it right there on the outside. So you got a hole back here. And you're actually staring at tooth through her cheek. That's tooth right there. And then this is lower odontoma that's grown into the mouth. Well, Ozzy just let me leash him. And then the rest yeah. of the tooth is up here. I so I'm actually well, gonna I'm have to cut that, that, that in two places to get it out. And so what I need to do is, let me draw you a little picture. You can wake her up and cool. That's okay, I think it's relatively flexible. So we've got kind of something like, Actually, it's coming through right here. Let's go get one. So here it's coming. So if this is the tooth, okay. This is jawbone.
it's coming through the outside right here at the very end and that's what's on the x-ray right up top where right. my mouse is it's coming through right here and then it's also coming through on the inside of the mouth right here which is this big nodule right here so what I need to do is I need to come into right here on the inside of the mouth and I need to amputate the tooth right here right. and I need to get and I probably actually need to amputate it right here because this is coming out of the socket so I'm gonna push that piece through the socket I'm gonna remove this piece on the inside of the mouth because this wall from here to here there is no bone on the inside the jawbone is done so over here, I can't take that whole piece off or it's, or it's gonna fall apart right here. So what I have to do on this side is I'm gonna come back when I cut it on the inside of the mouth here and here, I'll take this piece right here out inside the mouth. I'll push that through the socket and then I've gotta come here on the outside of the jaw here and I've got to go remove that piece that way. Mm. There's no way for me to get it all out of one area. Normally, I would just come in out here, and I would cut along here, and I'd go and pick the lateral wall of this bone off, and I would get it out that way, but it's coming through the inside of the mouth here. So I've got to cut this piece off here, get it out that way. This piece comes this way, and this piece comes through the socket. That's the only way I can do it and see that I might can keep the jaw intact. Yeah, that's a hot little mess, but we got this. I knew it was something. I may end up removing the whole thing from inside. I'll have to see. Is your carrier in there? Because she's getting a little Oh, man, bro, that's a hot mess going on right there. I, I figured there was something going on. It's pretty ugly. And then um, on the upper... You had this little nub of like tooth right here. Is this the one that's, that's surfaced or the one that's still hidden? Oh, there is no tooth hidden in there. This was the, the whole thing came out? Yeah, this was the nub that was left over. Is that good? I pulled this out. Yeah, it's good. It's better than like having to go back and get the Hopefully pulp. it won't regrow. You know, okay. I don't know if there might be a little remnant of it right in here, but we'll know in time. So she ripped out her entire upper incisor mm -hmm. and then broke the other one. She did indeed. That, that's it's impressive. crazy. Yeah. How much torque did that take? Uh, a lot. <laughs> Here's the lateral on that side. And so this is the existing tooth. Is that a crack? No, that's okay. the ligament. You might have a remnant yeah, of right the there. rear end. Uh, okay. It's an overlap. Okay. So you might have a remnant of the other tooth on the other side, but on oh, okay. the AP view, I'm not seeing it. So the hidden one is actually, for the most part, gone, hopefully. Mm -hmm. And the one that's surfaced looks like it. It actually, it does not have an odontoma. Okay, here is this hot mess you have on the other side, okay? Which one is this? Is this is the one that's ugly on the inside of the mouth, the okay. lower okay. left side. One that's not growing. No, so you, this is where this big chunk of odontoma is inside the mouth, right here. Uh -huh. This is on the outside of the jaw, under the skin. Wow. And then it's exposed right here on the turn inside the mouth where it goes up. There's a big hole in the gum inside right. the mouth. So we're gonna pull this cheek tooth, this one, and this one. Those go, and I'm gonna cut it here and here. Pull this chunk right here out from inside the mouth, and then I'll, if I can get this from inside, I will, but more than likely I've gotta come out here, cut, and get yeah. that piece out that way, but that will leave her jaw intact. Because otherwise, she can lose her whole lower jaw, and there's no reason for that. So the big risks are loss of jaw and nerve damage. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't think we're gonna I think we'll be fine okay. I'm pretty I don't know I, I trust you I I get pretty um, I get a pretty good idea when I look at these and look in mm -hmm. the mouth and I just piece it together and I know what I think I can do so this explains why she's so grumpy yeah and I would be grumpy as hell poor thing. Well, she's gonna feel a lot better yeah, these teeth are all boogered up yeah I knew there was something Mm. It's very rare that I see an odontoma grow inside the mouth like that, and yeah. especially in the, like the length of the tooth. Normally, they grow at the end of it. Right. 
And this thing's got a lesion, like, you know, midway down the length of the tooth. It's actually right there, this big chunk. Wow. Well, she's a special case. She is, and I love the challenge, but <laughs> this is not the time to do something sure. that that's, in, that's that involved. You do have a little piece right here, Brad. What's this? This is on the upper. Okay. So right here is the ass end of the other tooth right here. The missing tooth? Yep. Okay. And it may grow back. It actually looks like it's trying to yeah, it's grow back. It's curving correctly. So I'm going to outline. Can I superimpose that? Here we go. This right here. Here. Does it have like a memory where it knows how to grow? Yeah, like, but it does for the most part. It does unless the if the germinal bed is angry, it's just gonna grow this big snarled up ball. Mm -hmm. But the fact that you have this already right here, that's pretty normal. Yeah, at the very least, it's not going incorrectly. It doesn't so have far. a big odin tummy there. So if we are lucky, which okay. you know, we're not usually that lucky when they break it this right. far back, but we might get that lucky. If we get lucky, it'll just grow in and we'll never have to even look at it again. Good. And her teeth grow really fast, so you'll see progress yeah, here it is. next time she's here whether it's still growing correctly or oh, not. I'll be able to measure it and compare it on these x-rays, but it's right mm -hmm. here. Her teeth grow twice as fast as Sabrina's. Do they really? They're, yeah. She's Aww. like every five days I have to trim them. You know what? I'm really ho I thought initially that maybe she had cancer in that, but I think it's just all ugly odontoma. She may have had some trauma there that mm -hmm. created part of that in the mouth growth. Yeah. Because I do not normally see that. Be before her rescue, both Look of her lower chunk. incisors were going to one eye. Were they really? And then when I caught her, there was only one tooth. So she had already learned how to Aww, break her teeth. And that, that would definitely contribute to this traumatic odontoma type thing going on. Well, let's schedule that for next week. Okay. Um, it's just tonight. I That's had fine. no idea what I was in for, and I got to strategize I didn't either. that. I didn't know if you are going to be pulling uppers or lowers or what. <laughs> so. No, and then the other thing, too, is I got to make... I've got to make some elevators that are going to fit into this ligament space, That's so I need to bang out some like little itty bitty 25 gauge needles and get them, you okay. know, use them for elevators so I can get it out without breaking that jaw, because that jaw is a hot mess. Yeah, whenever you want me to bring her back, just let me know. Um, I'm thinking I want her back on Tuesday. Did you know Nina was here in town?